Mercedes had big expectations for the beginning of the 23 season, but has been met with some humbling results thus far, being consistently bested by not only its primary rival Red Bull, but also former midfielder Aston Martin. From the start of the season, Aston Martin had it figured out, placing Fernando Alonso on the podium in nearly all races this year. Can't say the same for its other driver, you know, the, uh, the other Aston driver? The one without spatial awareness. He seems to have some problems getting around the track, but in the hands of Fernando Alonso, the Aston Martin has been absolutely stunning. So we know for a fact that their team, their engineers, they're doing things right. They've got that car dialed in. So has Red Bull with Max Verstappen winning nearly all races this year. I say nearly because the only other driver winning a race this year is his Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez. So there's something to say for Red Bull's domination putting the force choke on the top teams. I find your lack of faith disturbing. But like I said, they've figured it out, and Mercedes hasn't. That is, until now. For a top-tier team, we and they expected them to place at least one of their drivers consistently on the podium to kick off the season, and that didn't happen. Lewis was pessimistic early on in the year about their shortcomings and seemingly rode off the 23 season as a bust. And we weren't even to Monaco yet. Teammate George Russell was overall even-keeled and somewhat optimistic even during their dark times of finishing 6th and 8th in Azerbaijan. If Williams had placed 6th in a race, they'd be going bananas. But between Max, Checo, and Alonso, there hasn't been much room for the Mercedes drivers at the top, although at least one of their drivers usually finishes in the top 5. And if you've got room for another F1 channel in your life, and I know you do, hit the like and subscribe button, as well as the notification bell to turn on alerts when I drop new videos. Usually they're every Tuesday night. I will say, I'm getting better at the whole consistent uploading thing, probably as consistent as Mercedes has been recently on seeing podium finishes. It's promising. Their highest finish being second in Australia and Spain, thanks to Sir Lewis Hamilton and some luck from a six car pileup in Australia. And now third in Canada. Once Mercedes realized their entire concept around their car was jacked from the very beginning, they planned major changes and upgrades for Imola. But here's the rub. It's time for the rub. Imola never happened, and the following race was Monaco, where car performances are stymied due to its terrible track layout. Can we all just agree that Monaco has no business being on the F1 calendar anymore? What a waste of time. Just anyway, so the first time Mercedes could really let them ponies run was Spain, and it worked. Hamilton finishing second and Russell finishing third, squeezing out Checo who finished fourth. A Red Bull sandwich, if you will. Savory, crunchy horners on the outside, creamy toad with sweetness on the inside. Mercedes figured it out. And what's more, they knew it two weeks prior. You can see it on their faces in Monaco. They knew the upgrades worked and it changed the landscape for the remainder of the season. By adding new side pods, new floorboard design, and altering their front suspension, they're able to keep up consistently. They put themselves in positions to take advantage of any mistakes made by Red Bull or Aston Martin. Is Red Bull threatened by this? Not yet, at least I don't think so. Is Aston Martin? Oh, absolutely. Not unless Lance Stroll gets fired and they get a competent driver in that other seat. I'm not saying we're going to see Mercedes finishing 1-2 every weekend, but get used to seeing at least one Mercedes driver on the podium, and probably for the remainder of the year. They've salvaged what could have been an ugly season and turned it into a competitive one. So do you guys think that the Silver Arrows will start taking places from Fernando Alonso, or are we looking at a Max Alonso Hamilton finish for the rest of the year? Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you in the next one.